version of it himself. Even all he's done in football, Jermaine Defoe. Right, everybody, I didn't think I'd be bringing you this news so soon. I thought it would be the end of the season. Yes, The Sun did an article regarding Jermaine Defoe going to retire with immediate effect very soon. But, you know, it's The Sun, so I didn't really pay him that much attention to it. But no, it was true, and he's announced his retirement after 22 years in the game. I'd just like to thank, thank him for all the memories he's left for us, for everything he's done for Jermaine Defoe. His goals against Newcastle, home and away. Just, you know, everything he's, he's done for Sunderland, really, with, with the charity work with Defoe and the Bradley Larry Foundation. So I'd like to thank him for that. He did release a statement and he went on to say, After 22 years in the game, I've decided to re retire from professional football. It's been a really tough decision and one I've discussed with my family and people that's close to me. Uh, I made... My professional debut 17 years ago in 1999 and I feel now is the right time to take a bow out. I have an incredible journey and I've met some amazing people in the game. He went on to say he thanks the fans from all clubs who he's um, played at and stuff like that and thanks to his mum. Which, do you know what, this takes us on to our recruitment. It's been an absolute shambolic decision to bring him in in the first place. Yes, there was always that little hope from me especially as well. That dropping down to League One, you're thinking, you know, Defoe, he's going to bang them in. Let's be honest, he, he's, he, when he knows where the goal is. He, he never lost that. But for some reason, it didn't work in, in Sunderland. It, you know what? Probably didn't expect so, uh, League One to be so physical and the, de the demand on players was at a high level. And with Defoe only playing a certain amount of time for Rangers last season, I think it was, well, I, I read nine minutes or 90 minutes, something like that. Uh, you know, he wasn't up to scratch and Alex Neil obviously seen that and never replaced him. Uh, Speakman, I think Speakman, in my opinion, should gone at the end of the season. That's just my opinion personally. Listen, to not bring in a striker, now Defoe's gone, we're literally relying on broad headers, picking up injuries. And if Ross Stewart gets injured on international or any game up until the end of the season, we are fucked. We are fucked. Player springs to mind that we should have really looked at or broke our neck to go and get was Cole Stockton. The amount of goals he's got for a struggling Morton side, it's outstanding for this league. And I think he could have just got us out of that line. I did mention this a couple of months ago as well. But Defoe hype, one last dance, it would have been amazing for him to just hit the ground running and, you know, be the Defoe of old. Obviously, it was never going to happen. We're unbeaten, 39 year old. But, you know, Sunderland, we've seen it for a red and white uh, tinted glasses, as you see it. Um, and for me, it's uh, I really wanted it to work for him, but just didn't. The Speakman's got a lot to answer for. If if Stuart or Broder get injured now, you know, you've, he's got to, his job's got to be up for, uh, for question, really, let's be honest. And I think he should go in anyways. Not going into the season when he full-backs was criminal, even though he got away with that one. And then you've got to look at other things that with this divorce situation. Some say the Lee Johnson sack him, but in my opinion, it was right to do so. We had suffered the worst defeat in Sunderland's history. League won 6-0. It wasn't acceptable. And before that, we'd only won one in, uh, seven in 22. So that's the, probably the reason he went. And they weren't jumping the gun, in my opinion. Others might see a different. Comment below if you think different. But I, Defoe has gone. He's retired Wish him all the best of luck. I know he wants his coaching badges. And I hope he does stick in the stick around till the end of the season. Give the young kids a, a vast experience and knowledge what he's got. And I wish him all the best for the future. Hit the thumbs up on this one. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next video.